Hey folks, I uh, just wanted to go over something I got off of Kickstarter. It's a LiPo charging box. Uh, steel, uh, thin steel walls on the outside. Double walled insulated on the inside. Um, has a some type of a fireproof fiberglass insulation that you can actually see through the holes on here. Um, but this is the bat safe. Created by Tom Mast. I believe he's down in Texas, at least that's where this came from. Um, build quality is really good on it. Nice heavy duty hinge on the back, all riveted together. Uh, has a little carry handle on there that, you know, kind of stays up out of the way. Um, good latch on there. It uh, holds snug, spring loaded so you can undo it one handed. But you can fit, I'm guessing, probably about eight. Of the, I've got the 1. or 1300 milliamp 4S batteries, but you could fit probably about eight in here, and then put your balance board inside, run your charging cables through the cable pass through, and then there is a little stand that comes with. It clips on here. You can put some Velcro on the back if you wanted to make it a little more permanent. Uh, then you can Velcro your charger on here and sort of create a little charging station. You know, this would stay on, flips up out of the way, so you can get to your stuff. Not quite as compact as one of these little soft bags that everybody's familiar with, but uh, definitely a good option for charging at home. I know I'll be charging inside of here. Uh, I was just charging on the, on the surface here while I was on the computer, so I was always right next to it. But it seems to be a pretty cool idea. It uh, took longer than expected to get done. I think I backed it back in March or so and just got it today actually. But kind of cool. It's got little stopper feet on the bottom to kind of hold it in place when it's on the desk. But yeah, it's it's built pretty well. I think it I think they retail for 40 or 50 bucks, which obviously if it stops the fire, um, it's well worth it. Allegedly, you can reuse it after it catches, you know, if it were to stop a fire. Uh, give it 20 minutes or so after the smoke finishes coming out. Take it outside, open it up carefully. Take batteries out, clean whatever soot might be in there, and it should be good to go again. But this is the bat safe. Um, I don't know if it's got the website, yeah. Uh, www.bat-safe.com uh, Yeah, out of Carrollton, Texas. Might be an idea for those of you that are like me, a little leery of, you know, burning your house down because you're charging batteries. Check it out.